Hi guys. Um, so, 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 just want to clarify some um, about my previous video because all the comments about are about uh, my cute little baby uh, sucking titties, uh, but nobody actually is talking about uh, the point of the video, uh, which is um, that I personally think that um, you should be exposed already today uh, a majority of your capital to crypto. Um, But, eh, like, that should have happened a little while back, eh? uh, because right now we're in a, a mini rally. So I wouldn't say today, today, but I would say today, if you get a even a small correction, um, yeah, that position should be taken. Uh, because, as I pointed out, also in the first video I made, where uh, the title is Serious Undervaluation is here, um, it went to an undervaluation of 50% below uh, the trend line and as you can see in that video um, that's a historical low um, valuation that uh, in the past was the bottom in the previous bear markets that was the bottom when it went the first time into serious undervaluation and that was also around minus 50% then that was the bottom huh? uh, but um, I did say that um, Actually, the odds for a deeper bottom are still high. And so actually in that video I recommended to be only 40% crypto not uh, and still 60% fiat because I think that, um, um, uh, as I point out in that video, um, well, the first b uh, bear market of 2011, it went up and up and so uh, but in, in, in the second bear market of 2014, it went uh, 2015 went up and then up, yeah. And so I said that actually it's quite probable that in this bear market that always becomes stronger. The, the bull markets become weaker and the bear markets become stronger. Um, and, and, and so and then th this bear market might go up and not up, but up and then down even more but on a, a slower decline so that's why um, and also because of the lack of volume uh, when when that first drop happened to 3200 for Bitcoin um, and 80 for B Bitcoin cash and 80 US dollars for Ethereum uh, the volume was not high uh, it was actually very low especially for Bitcoin cash as it went down and down and down there was almost no volume the old volume only came when it shot back up and that's also an indicator that, um, that, that, that that likely the law was not found. So my recommendation was to be not a majority crypto, but a big minority, which was 40% that I said then. Um, and, and so um, I think that was a correct analysis to go to about 40% um, uh, exposure, crypto exposure, but still leave a majority in fiat uh, when we hit uh, that... Um, well, the first time when we hit 4,000 and um, when we went continue to go down to 3,200, that was the bottom. I think this whole this this period, I was it was wise to go to such an allocation if you don't have it, um, uh, because there were not enough indicators that the bottom uh, was likely hit. Um, and so, uh, uh, what's different today? Uh, actually, nothing. Uh, um, since then, we had a mini rally. Uh, that's basically since November, December, when we found the low. It went up, down, up now. Um, but we're about uh, 4,100 US dollars. So, we're still uh, in that area, but on the higher end. Mm, though it can go higher of course but um, uh, we're still in the same situation that we haven't seen um, uh, massive uh, volume uh, for the coin that I'm for example uh, really interested in Bitcoin Cash we haven't seen a crash a capitulation crash with high volume so um, uh, 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 compared to the bull market eh? 
uh, and so uh, because the volume, if I'm uh, not mistaken, is of similar magnitude uh, during the bear market capitulation than during the bull market capitulation uh, when it finally goes vertical to the upside. Uh, it's the same when it finally goes vertical to the downside. Uh, it's the same kind of uh, dynamic and the same kind of volumes that you need to see. Um, uh, so, uh, and so actually, um, my title of my video uh, yesterday was wrong. Um, uh, massive, uh, I, uh, high uh, undervaluation, um, historically high undervaluation. Um, uh, was reached indeed um, finally uh, when Bitcoin uh, went from 6,000 to 3,200 finally uh, we got to a minus 50% undervaluation so that the time to start buying was there uh, but um, there were not enough indicators that we saw the bottom and so uh, to go to a majority exposure uh, was not justified yet in my opinion um, and um, the same is actually true today because actually today we're at a higher valuation. When I made that video, serious undervaluation is here. The total market cap was 114 billion, 114. Right now the total market cap is one, uh, 140 billion, so a little bit higher. Um, uh, and in the meantime, uh, the trend line has gone up a little bit also. Um, uh, but that means that um, undervaluation is quite similar uh, to then. But what does put me on the wrong, uh, what, what does scares me uh, that we have seen since then is that the majority now thinks uh, that we will see lower prices. Huh? Um, and, and, and that scares me. Uh, but of course the majority is oh, right most of the time. Uh, it's only at the end of the cycle that the majority is massively wrong. And I also actually did a poll there when we were hitting that bottom of 3,200 US dollars of Bitcoin and 80 dollars of Bitcoin cash. Uh, I made a video, Mary BCH. The sentiment was very negative towards Bitcoin cash at around that price. Um, uh, but if you, if I also made a poll like, will it go? Uh, do, we, do we see the bottom or not? And. Um, and I basically asked if prices would uh, continue to go down or not. And um, about 70% voted that prices would continue to go down. Uh, and about 30% voted that, uh, no, 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 they, they, they would go up from now we saw the bottom. But uh, typically at the end of a cycle, uh, not 70% is not wrong, but more, much more, 90% is wrong. Eh? So, um, And that's likely what will happen if we see another drop uh, below 3,200 uh, towards 2,500, for example. Um, then very likely, if you do a similar poll, and 90% will say that we will see lower prices, uh, and we'll start to talk about 1,900 or or even uh, 900 uh, below 1,000. So, 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 so this was also an indicator for me that mm, no, we're not ready yet for a change. Uh, in a direction uh, and and since then of course it did go up um, a little and down and back up now uh, but um, yeah uh, I think um, we haven't seen the bottom yet that the odds for that are the highest at the same time I think that you should be absolutely fully prepared here to to catch that bottom um, and um, and to have your fiat ready uh, to buy because I think the next drop um, may be the bottom. Uh, it's actually most likely going to be the bottom uh, because sentiment is already overly negative and will become extremely negative next time around when we see a newer low but uh, there is a limit to how low it can go uh, and, uh, and I think we're very close to reaching that. So that's why I, uh, I, I am preparing to go all in. Uh, the only question for me is where do I set my buy orders? I'm still conflicted myself. Should I put them at a double bottom for Bitcoin Cash and only at $80? Um, 
uh, that does make sense for me because um, well of course when Bitcoin makes a new low all other coins will likely also make a new low that's most probable but if I look at what has happened up until today in the bear market um, how much Ethereum and Bitcoin Cash have corrected Bitcoin Cash a lot more um, um, uh, 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 but Bitcoin Cash is a special situation but basically the project was split in half uh, because uh, BSV, Bitcoin BSV forked off and, uh, and took away uh, also a big piece of the community uh, so, so uh, maybe it's a special case but let's look at Ethereum um, yeah it corrected uh, to $80 um, um, I have to look up on the numbers but that's indeed already a very deep uh, and um, I don't follow the project, but uh, I can certainly imagine that fundamentals look very good for the project considering that uh, companies like uh, Samsung and some other big company I forgot have uh, are implementing crypto into their phones and they picked Ethereum and only Ethereum uh, as a standard coin. So, so these are all uh, great fundamentals. Eh? So um, uh, and of course it has happened uh, in the past also that leading coins bottomed before Bitcoin bottomed uh, Ripple did that in the last bear market uh, bottomed before uh, Bitcoin uh, and it may well be that Ethereum uh, has bottomed also uh, before Bitcoin I won't see a new low uh, even when Bitcoin makes a new low uh, and I, I personally think the same is true for uh, Bitcoin Cash, considering how negative the sentiment is there, and, and it already went basically through a, a real war. Um, um, uh, uh, and in my personal opinion, the, 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 the support for uh, Bitcoin SV is very misguided. Uh, and so I think over time, uh, some of that... Uh, some of those people will come back and some of that capital will come back to Bitcoin Cash. Um, so I, I'm just a little bit conflicted if, if Bitcoin Cash can make a new low or not. So I will probably split my orders <clears throat> between these two, between the, 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 the low, uh, between a double bottom uh, that would be around $80, but also <clears throat> bet the other half on a new low, which is of course most likely uh, that your favorite coin makes a new low. If Bitcoin makes a new low, then your favorite coin, most other coins actually will do that too. Um, so, so, so that's my personal plan. Mm. About the buy and hold forever, I was not very clear in my previous video. Uh, basically, uh, my point is that um, I've long said uh, that I think the buy and hold is the best strategy, buy and hold forever. Uh, and that's why I started doing since uh, middle 2017 for the coins I have bought. Uh, but I I'm coming back from that. Uh, I think that was um, wrong. Um, the, the logic behind it was that, well, if you do a buy and hold forever, starting from the bottom of the bear, well, then you will do 100x and we will not miss out on 100x or even a thousand x for some coins it's just crazy eh? how high these things can go and you cannot just you cannot estimate that correctly how high it will go and you will diversify away way too soon eh? so 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 and after that in the bear market if you have 100x you will only like lose it will only be cut by 10 so you still have a 10x left after the bear market is true and if you're if you pick the coin that did massive returns like Ethereum or IOTA in the last bear market, a uh, bull market or, 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 or Tron or so many others uh, that do a thousand X, eh? uh, wow, eh? then, then, then you're like, even in the bear market after, uh, yes, it will be cut by 10, but that means you still have a hundred X left if you, if you didn't trade anything, didn't buy, sell anything. Eh? So that's why I think a buy and hold makes a lot of sense. And then certainly if you take into account the amount of time that you liberate by not having to be busy with price and, and if you also take that time and use it to build something like a crypto business uh, or a crypto coin, uh, if you start your own coin, or even if you focus on other stuff not related to crypto, like you can put all your energy into that and, and, and will get much more benefit than trying to um, lock in profits um, 
uh, with crypto. Uh, uh, so, so, so that was my logic, uh, and that logic um, is true. Uh, but um, um, there, but there is a point in a bull cycle where you can really see that um, exuberance is extreme. Like the, the thing is, you you become better at. Um, reading the market and, and, and judging how high it is valued. For example, I didn't have the tool in the last bull market of the Trollo chart that's now done by Awe and Wonder. Actually, that's something I only discovered in the middle of 2017. Before that, I didn't have that. And due to that, um, or I, I actually started doing it, but I wasn't valuing it high enough yet. And due to that, I, I, I sold crypto way too soon. Um, and so if you have the right tools, then you are able to judge whether we are in extreme and overvaluation and, and re re very risky territory um, or not. Huh? Uh, and the same on the downside, you are able to judge whether we are in extreme undervaluation and very likely at the bottom or not. If you have the right tools, you can uh, study that and judge that much, much better. And, and that's what I have now today. Um, and so, and I also had it at the end of the bull market in 2017, but I chose to um, uh, not use it. And and so I made that mistake in the middle of 2017 to buy certain coins with the buy and hold strategy. Uh, um, but now I realize that was wrong. Uh, and yeah, um, uh, it was because of exhaustion also. Like I bought them at the buy and hold. Why? Because I was so tired of uh, following up the markets and 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 and, and I didn't want to uh, do that more um, and then when the market did go up at the end of 2017 I was uh, euphoric uh, because I had applied that buy and hold strategy and of course sitting on major gains uh, but didn't sell those coins I did sell some others eh, but like I only sold down 20% of my portfolio eh, from 90 or 95% to about 70 or 75% I sold down luckily eh, and that's that's what was a good move and thanks to that fiat that I put on the sideline I was able to buy during this bear a big stash of Bitcoin cash so that's a big success eh? but um, of course it's just very good to try to improve your uh, returns over time and I just learned uh, during this bear the last few months that I made that mistake there and I should have continued to uh, act like an investor um, when I buy coins in the middle of a bull market uh, you should also buy them with the intent to sell if there is clear overvaluation but that's even true when you buy coins today uh, at the beginning of a, a bull market uh, or in, in a couple of months uh, or maybe half a year uh, when we see the actual bottom uh, when you buy those coins um, and you want to buy them with a buy and hold intent um, well it's not a good idea to buy them with a with the intent to buy and hold forever because yes of course you won't have to follow price and you will come very rich if you do that but there will come a point where well you're acting like an idiot if you ignore continue to ignore price if you don't lock in profits any profits um, uh, then well um, why uh, like why, why leave that opportunity um, uh, 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 why not do that eh? uh, sure uh, 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 following a price can take a lot of time but if you become very good at that it takes less and less time eh? uh, for me it's these days just looking at the trollo chart every month or so or every two months or ev or only when there is like news and there is movements in the market and just checking how overvaluation or undervaluation is and and then uh, that's enough it gives me inf enough information to decide whether to go to a, a a big exposure or a small exposure so I think it's just very wise for me to continue to do that um, uh, but indeed um, also very wise to go all in to crypto when I think the bottom is there uh, to hold on to those coins uh, the first three four years and not sell any unless 
I don't agree with the project direction and I switch it for another crypto, but I don't diversify away into fiat investments. I think it's very important uh, to uh, boost your returns. Um, uh, but indeed, do uh, uh, keep an eye on, on the Trollo chart uh, and, um, and once um, we are in dangerous overvaluation territory, um, yeah, um, sell uh, strong to a minority exposure. Uh, that's my plan and, and, and I think that's a great strategy to have. Um, that was that. When it comes to making videos, uh, I enjoy that very much and actually um, it helps me a lot uh, to improve my thinking. Um, so I think I am the biggest benefactor of uh, making them. Um, and I really sometimes get good feedback also and that's valuable. And I make also uh, friendships that uh, give me valuable feedback. So, so making the videos does create value for me. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, I, I, um, I, I think that I want to focus more on building crypto businesses and less on following price. And so maybe I will continue to make videos, uh, but it, they will probably be more related to crypto businesses uh, that I'm building uh, and not really to uh, uh, following the price um, for the first three years or so, or four years. And I would also like to say a little burst about the response to my video uh, where uh, my girlfriend was uh, breastfeeding uh, my beautiful little kid here. Uh, I wasn't thinking about it, but um, for me it's just interesting to show. I just like to show the just how life is, uh, what's what I am seeing. And I like to show to, these things to my viewers while talking about crypto. But um, I had forgotten that actually um, it is uh, considered offensive uh, in the United States, I think. Um, um, but yeah, I don't agree with that. I think that uh, breastfeeding is how children, babies eat. Huh? And I, I don't think it should be offensive or shameful. Um, I think it's important uh, that um, children get the breast. Huh? Um, some mothers choose not to give breast and I don't think that's good of course it can be medical reasons but if you're able to give breastfeeding I think it's very important for a kid and I think that with a feminist culture um, some of the values uh, um, have uh, gone lost uh, too much um, uh, such as that it's important to breastfeed your kid um, or that the mom is the, uh, is primary uh, caretaker of the kids and uh, and uh, yeah should spend a lot more time with the kids uh, or with the baby at young age things like that uh, I discuss these things in my other videos too but um, I think it's very beautiful uh, I'm so happy uh, I, I, with my kid here Joy she's sleeping now but uh, it's amazing. Um, uh, she's a very happy kid and uh, she's always smiling and it's uh, it's very moving it's really moving uh, it's very beautiful um, uh, I never had uh, my own child before and and uh, I think it's uh, really beautiful I think it's very beautiful actually just to see her um, breastfeed to see her uh, suck the titty uh, it's so important for the kid she does that a lot uh, during the day and at night uh, and um, uh, it, the baby grows very very fast uh, thanks to that uh, and she's very happy so um, that's all, the only thing I want to share and, and I really hope that uh, my viewers uh, uh, can uh, loosen up a little bit uh, about such things eh? uh, breastfeeding is not uh, sex eh? uh, um, it's not uh, sure there is breast but uh, it's not a sexual act, huh? uh, it's an act of uh, nourishing and feeding your child, so I think that's beautiful. And uh, I'm sorry if it offended you, uh, I hope, uh, yeah, I hope you can just open up a little bit about this, 
Uh, I think the American culture actually is a, a great culture and, uh, and, uh, and has moved the, the world forward much more than other cultures uh, the past 100, 200 years. But I do think that uh, in the American culture there are some things also a little bit off, uh, like the aggression is very high, the, uh, the amount of punishment that's given by the justice system is very high, the amount of cops in the street is very high. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, when it comes to sex, um, there is also uh, something weird going on, eh? uh, and also circumcision, circumcising old boys. Um, uh, I'm not so sure about all that. Eh? So um, just to share some of uh, my opinions. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, and um, I really hope that, um, uh, that 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 you are preparing to go to a majority exposure in crypto, uh, meaning uh, when you look at the total amount of capital that you have and that's real estate included eh? uh, retirement accounts included eh? everything included you make a total amount uh, and then you look at how much percent is invested in crypto and um, that should really go to a majority in my opinion why because the risk reward ratio of crypto is much better than your other investments eh? and if you want to make money with investing uh, you should invest according to the Kelly criterion, uh, which says that the the investment with the best risk reward ratio should get the largest allocation in your portfolio. And this is a very scary way to invest because that means that you need to invest the biggest amount of your portfolio in something that likely has gone down a lot recently and is perceived as extremely risky. Huh? Uh, but if you analyze it objectively, you can see that actually the potential reward is, let's say, 100x or 1000x. Huh? And indeed, it just went down with 95%. Sentiment is extremely negative. But indeed, it continues to be used uh, in the market. There is growth in amount of merchants or um, in amount of transactions. Looks pretty good. All these things like that means that actually risk is quite low because it went all already down a lot and fundamentals look good. Huh? Um, so it's here to stay. Uh, while potential reward is very high, so the risk reward is extremely good. You can't say that from your other investments, be they stock investments uh, or or or. or precious metal uh, companies like this all just really does not compare at all eh, to the potential reward of crypto so 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 that's why I think it really deserves a majority allocation um, all in uh, what I will do is of course uh, well it's it's the next step eh? uh, that's where I am I already went to 80% exposure in a previous bear market uh, for me that's the next step uh, but uh, most of my viewers uh, probably didn't do that in the previous bear market, go to a majority allocation crypto. But uh, I can really recommend to do that eh? uh, and not make the mistakes I made at the time. Eh? You go to a majority allocation, but then you don't freak out uh, uh, the moment it goes up a little and you already diversify away some profits. No, you stay invested. That's very important. Eh? But. Um, the most important thing is the amount of money you do invest of your portfolio when that bottom happens or when it just passed away, uh, uh, when it's, when you just missed it maybe. But because it becomes so hard, the moment the market starts to go up, even if it's a little, uh, and that bottom is passed uh, and, and the trend is upwards, it becomes very, very, very difficult to invest more capital into crypto because prices are now, how, now higher than they used to be. And so... Um, and because most of the market thinks a new low will happen uh, that never comes, it just doesn't happen, and, and you don't. Uh, you end up not investing that remaining fiat uh, into into uh, crypto. Huh? So, so that's why it's very important to do that big investment um, over the next half year. I think uh, when we get another new drop uh, below the 3,200. Uh, and also, of course, you need to be fully prepared of that. Uh, real estate, selling real estate takes half a year. Huh? Uh, you have to be aggressive too. You have to really underprice your real estate or um, uh, 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 yeah, uh, you have to sometimes really market sell uh, things to be to have your fiat ready uh, to, 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 to be able to, to buy uh, during those uh, panic times um, in crypto. Uh, so this all requires a lot of preparation, which I am doing. Huh? Um, I just have sold my last gold. Um, 
and uh, it's now in fiat uh, ready uh, on the crypto markets to be bought huh? so voila that's the story hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a great day bye 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 <laughs>